Louisiana man, banjo and its specialist at the helm of a gorgeous sounding record by Rhiannon Giddens from her nearly brand new record, You're the One. Tonight's album listen challenge, special edition, best of 2023. Hello, music multiverse listeners. Tonight, the Grateful Dude and Deb Armitage Maloney take on the world class folk bending musicianship and creativeness of Rhiannon Giddens. Before we get into tonight's special edition, though, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're back, well, we're honored. Have you subscribed yet? It doesn't cost a thing, and it makes our channel popular. <laughs> we love your comments, so please give them to us. And of course, bow to the algorithm and hit the like button. It's the wrong kind of right. This album, Listen Challenge, comes directly from the host, me, to the panelists tonight. Tonight, this album was not actually ranked because it's fairly new. I did review it last week, and then we're past the halfway point, so I didn't have a chance to rank it. Here's my thoughts at that point. Rhiannon Giddens is a golden treasure in the ever-expanding and comforted folk music that she continues to make. She also continues to contort it to her will. This album is an absolute sound piece with all kinds of larger pieces that prior albums with spot on production, you know, those prior albums didn't have all that production. Big sound with horns, gospel feel. We got harmonica. We got the banjo. We got fiddle. But we've got riffing keyboards. What? As well as a heap of southern blues, a dash of ragtime, and of course, that confident, classically trained, yet modified gorgeous folk vocal. There are some cool surprises in topic and edgy layering and not a solitary song that sounds quite like the other. This is one of the best solo albums of the year without question in the detail and attention to every piece of sound and the overall delivery. It has one slight setback for me, but I'll let that fade for the moment. The format tonight, just to remind our listeners, album production one to five, album flow one to five, songwriting one to five, musicianship one to five, total number of songs you like compared to the total number of songs, and then the overall rating. So I asked who would like to go first? I will. I guess we'll let the ladies go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have to start with album production, right? You can start um, however you like. Well, album production, that's kind of difficult for me because I'm not an expert with recording, editing, and mixing and mastering. Um, but as far as the musical ideas that they wanted to incorporate into this album, they, they make sense because the songs all have the same instruments or at least meld some of the same instruments like you've got strings but not all strings there's woodwinds there's um guitar that yeah that's string but i don't think that the same is like a fiddle um right. i you know i found that um it all was very cohesive in the end um like i said i'm not really good at that part of my critique but if I was going to be an album producer that's what I would want to do it was beautiful actually um I listened to it without being um interrupted you know feeling like what's that you know so mm -hmm. that's where I got from that but the flow 
it really like the songs meld the past with the present like she's writing about things that you could tell maybe from a woman's standpoint that she's talking about things that happened in her life but she didn't get stuck there she's right you know um her songs um nothing is shocking about them like you don't all of a sudden hear a new song and go what's that all about it's you go that's her um you might not like it but it's her and it makes sense to what she's doing and it's like a story of her life with i don't know her i'd love to I I walked away from it going, I'd like to meet her and ask her how she chose these songs in this particular album and where they came from that mm-hmm. she thought that that would all fit together, I guess. Um, her voices, there's some surprises in them, but not like some of the other albums that you had us listen to where I went. Oh my God, where did that song come from? Number four doesn't go with number three. You know, where I go, like scariness. Um, Her songwriting though is very poetic. Um, I would say her background really lends to what she was writing about. There's a lot of social discord that she's writing about, especially that one song, uh, another wasted life wasted life yeah yeah and others kind of feel more personal and sad almost like she was wronged by somebody not a social thing but somebody hurt her personally um but she didn't make it overwhelmingly um you wouldn't sit there and start crying when you were listening to it. It's almost like a lullaby, but um, you go, oh, if you listen to the words, you go, oh, that's where that comes from. Because lullabies can be very sad, right? Um, musicianship, this is my thing. Um, I think she sounds a lot like, and I hate to compare people, but Natalie okay. Merchant. Natalie Merchant. I oh, there, there heard similarities in that. Yes. Yeah. Just her hollowness, some of the songs, but not all of them. She wasn't copying or trying to be Natalie Merchant. I just heard some of that. There was a couple of the songs that Aretha Franklin, like just how she would, the crescendo of what she's doing. And then she just would belt something out and you go, where did that come from? That's 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 like, the classically trained vocalist that she is. She can exactly. do opera and yeah. Crazy. Yep. Yeah. So like musicianship, there's a lot of jazz and pop and soul and country blues, which country blues is a weird thing to put in there, but she did a good job of that. Um, I would say that that one song, what is that? The hen that's in the fox house. Yeah. That thing, that song made me laugh because it was like, yeah, (laughs) we're a hen going in the fox, huh? But yeah. Um, And who are you dreaming of? There's jazz flute in there. And that's my Billie Holiday song. She sounded so much. You know, I love Billie Holiday. That song, I go, "Mm, she's got that. And I know she doesn't want to be compared to those people. Or maybe she does. You don't know. It might be a compliment. Yeah, great company. Great company. So I would say the songs, I like nine out of 12. So the three I didn't like, Mark, I think you, I know you like Louisiana Man. (laughs) Um, Louisiana Man, Out of My Kitchen and Way Over Yonder were all three were very Appalachian to me. Yep. Yeah. And it's not that I didn't like them. It was just that it kind of rubbed me the wrong way where that's not 
where I was feeling this album should be, but I wasn't surprised because didn't I ask you early on when you told me about this woman, I go, where's she from Kentucky? She's not, she's from no. North Carolina. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, It's close, but those songs don't res those songs don't resonate with me. That's not my genre that I like. It's not as bluesy as I like, but I wouldn't say you don't give me the songs I like and the songs I don't and the in between. So I would say there would be nine songs I like and three in between, but you didn't give me that. So I have to put those over in that I didn't like them. That's fine. My, I'm going to add to this. You didn't let me say this, but my favorite song was Who Are You Dreaming Of? I love that song. I would say that if I had grandbabies and you said, do we need this album? I would need this album because I would definitely rock my grandbabies to sleep with this album for sure. So, um, Album production, five. Flow, four. Songwriting, five. Musicianship, five. Um, and overall, five. It's not anything I would ever have chosen, but I'm very um, appreciative that you introduced me to these things. Otherwise, I'd never listen. So thank you. More on that later. <laughs> Grateful dude. Okay. First, I, I got a couple things to say. You know, they, they introduced this, um, if, if you look on Amazon and stuff, they call this this um, album folk. I yeah, Appalachian. do not yeah. believe that in any way, shape, or form. I agree. They, the, the word folk has gotten completely, think of folk, Peter, Paul, and Mary. That's folk. Okay. It doesn't have a rocky, it doesn't have any kind of hard beat or anything. It's mellow crap. Now, do I like folk? Sure. But this is not folk. And it, I think it's an injustice for you to call an album of this quality folk. You want to call it blues rock? Okay. You want to call it country rock? Okay. You want to call it blues? Okay. It has elements of all. This lady is seriously talented. I have now since uh, I got turned on this by I was watching a, a video with Paul Simon who introduced her. They did a song together. And um, uh, after that, I listened to this and I called Mark. Have you heard of me? He said, yeah, sure. Blah, blah. So anyway, I have now listened to about 80 percent of what she's produced. Uh, doing two albums a day of her. She's just un freaking believable. The what and uh, Billy Holiday, absolutely. Aretha, yeah. absolutely. Thank you. She, and both of those, well, there's no question. <laughs> She's the new Aretha Franklin. She's got yeah. baby, you got this baby's got soul. Period. All over but you know, oh, it flows all over the place. There, I cannot find anything wrong with this album. Zero. I give it a 25, period. You're There's awesome. There's nothing wrong. There, you I just want to meet her. Oh, oh I, I, I guarantee he wants to meet her. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, she's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, not just for that. She's, that's what comes out of her mouth, man. That's just beautiful. So, I know um, all about you, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, pretty much everybody does, but that's beside the point. Um, she, she, um, this album album really showcases her. It really does. Uh, it shows more than one side where some of her other records I've been listening to are. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say one dimensional, but they show another side of her. They're this, low key. Yeah, this one she's belting, baby. She's just letting it all hang out. Mm -hmm. Her. Her toes are curling on this one. So, <laughs> but, um, oh, Jeff. Mm. But, uh, yes, <laughs> this is what can I say, Mark? This is a great album. Yeah, let's do. But, uh, 
it, it's one of those kind of things where you she couldn't have done better if she tried to, period. I mean, I can't find any flaws, and I've listened to it six or seven times. I can't find any flaws. Every time I listen to it, I want to listen to it more. It's just great. Yeah. It's the best, oh, and that was- album I've, best album I've heard this year, period. Okay, so I have to ask you, what was your favorite song if you had to pick one? Because I definitely had one, and I, I have said three. it was "Who Are You Dreaming Of?" What is yours? I have three. Uh, okay. I absolutely. Well, <laughs> this favorite song of you have three. Yeah, I got three. I can't middle. pick one. You will not make me choose. <laughs> <laughs> ah, don't make me. Ah! So, These um, wives, I love them all. No, um, my favorite. If you have to put one favorite, God, it's so it's either it's either too, too little, too late. Oh or, yeah, that's good. Or you or uh, you Louisiana man. Those are powerful, powerful songs. I love. I didn't both. like that Louisiana man. I think it's just because I'm a woman, and it kind of maybe reminded me of somebody that I didn't, you know. You know, you know, got it. And, yeah. and, and she's flipping somebody off. She's doing yeah. it by playing that banjo, man. And she <laughs> plays the hell out of it. Yeah, she thing. did. You know? And my third song, my third song is something you mentioned. I really love uh, Hand in the Hand House. Really yeah. love that. That was a Hen, great song. Hand in the Fox House. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. Yeah, because yeah. if a hen is in the hen house, that's where the, you know, the hen is. Hand in the Fox <laughs> House, honey. Yeah, well, I, you know, and if the fox has a house, he must have built it. I hope he built yeah. it out of brick. That's yeah. a great song. So I will. So, okay, so since we're going that route, I'm okay. The first time I heard this record, I I was immediately like, the production was way different than prior records. This mm-hmm. was the, there was a like a manifesto out apparently that she said I'm going to be bigger. The sound's going to be big. There's going to be horns. It's going to this is going to be crazy, but not too crazy. Um, right. I I did get the feeling that there was a, a happiness structure to the record. Yes. Um, which which was a little bit different from what I remembered. Okay. Yeah. But this is the album I played the most of any of her, of her catalog. Although her first record uh, would be a close second. Um. So, too little, too late, too bad. Started it off, and that's the one that hooked me. Like, wow, this is I'm in this. The ride's gonna be this is gonna be worth it. I guarantee it. Mm-hmm. So, as it started to go on, my favorite song is Another Wasted Life, and I'll tell our yep. viewers, listeners, why. Doesn't matter what the crime, if indeed there was this time, he's given. Terry time uh, institutional caprice. It's a torture of the soul. Mm-hmm. I, I believe that she's the next woman mm-hmm. to sing the Bond theme song. I, I think she'll be on the list. I think anybody who understands what you need for that, it's a classically trained voice. You want to have yeah. a little bit of a different sound, but it's still a throwback. The Aretha Franklin, you know, that that whole setup. Um, yes. I think she can do it. And the if you listen real closely in the background of Another Wasted Life, there is a Bond background, and it's a little bit darker, and I think she can deliver it. My only problem with the record is the way it ends. Yes. 46 second ditty goal, you know, good old cider. Oh. I would I I have to agree, but I didn't know if I know enough to say that. I, I, but I, I was, was kind of like, like what's happening? I was mm-hmm. expecting okay. that's the as only usual, I'm gonna disagree with you, but that's beside the point. 
I thought well, well, at least, hey, hey, I'm not going crazy about it. At least they didn't right. do some kumbaya shit. All right, that's great because that's the worst thing you could possibly do. Everybody, come on stage. We'll all sing an old song together. No, I just I felt like it didn't end. It didn't. It did. I don't know. I, I it just that was me. But it listen, it's minor in the whole grand scheme of things, right? I mean, right. It's, really it's a very little glitch. Mark, what did you score it? Uh, I scored it a 24. What'd you get the point off for? The point off was uh, the flow. That's mine. That was mine too. I my, kind my of flow, felt my, like my, there was, was some... basically identical. And I think I would have been fine if the last song wasn't 46 seconds. And long. I yeah. like I the last song where it is. I think it was a perfect. Get well, out you're wrong. Town. I would have. Oh, that I does, liked, no, that's Alec that's wrong. <laughs> not me. <laughs> I'm teasing I, you, I, honey. I really believe that I was expecting it when it started. I'm like, okay, it's going to be instrumental and it's yeah. going to have some sort of yes. wicked pace and, and then end out. And it didn't. It was kind of just, you know, but. It's funny the because. Album is, is wonderful. It is the best solo album this year. There's not even one close. I was looking at you my know, list today. And, well, Okay, so you would say out of all the songs, you liked all of them and there weren't any that you didn't like because even though I gave a five because of all these criteria, when you had, you know, we have to list how many we of the songs we like and how many we don't, the three I don't like are all for the same reason, and I wouldn't judge the whole album on those three and I, songs. And I like them all. I like yeah, every it, single one of them. It's a wheelhouse thing, right? I don't... Yeah. On this record, the only song I don't gravitate or don't understand why it's there is the last one. The okay. only song that I don't connect with as, as much was technically the um, You Put the Sugar in My Bowl. But... I like the production. I love the way the sound is. I just, I thought the other songs had my attention more vocal. vocal Got it. Lyric, okay. Lyric. But yeah, uh, you know what? Talk to me in another six months. Maybe it's different, right? Well, that's, that's kind of how like, I, yes, that's what I, I could. Yeah. 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 Right. I you know, feel that know, about this album. You know, Mark, sometimes your wheelhouse doesn't have enough doors. <laughs> really? Yeah, I got. I want to hear about though. his doors. I gotta open yeah. up the window, let it in, and then why not its hand when it tries to get in? Oh no! <laughs> well, the thing is, as I listen to this over and over again, my, I mean, I did gravitate back to the songs I didn't like, but I like them or I didn't like them less each time. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they were yeah. starting to grow on me. From the first, from the first listen. Yes. From the first listen, I yes. like every single one. I, did, uh, I couldn't put it down. The album was just, uh, my earphones were glued to my head. Well, I Love didn't it. like the Appalachian stuff. And then I think if uh -oh. I would listen but to think it more. About it. Think about it though. How much do you actually listen to that? How, what? What radio station would you find that on? There where, is where would you go? You know, any right. good blue, any good bluegrass station, my friend. Correct, correct. And because oh. there, there's there's sure. hundreds of those. Hey, yeah. there are. There are. Go so I think the only Apple time Apple music. I listen to I, I can tell you right now, the only time Appalachian music met any chart was the yeah. um George Clooney movie. Yes. That's it. Oh yeah, brother. Uh, brother, where, where art thou? Yeah, right. Yep, that's and I can exactly. honestly tell you, it probably yep. gained some attention to new listeners in that because mm -hmm. uh, I enjoyed the movie. I thought everything else was well done in it, mm -hmm. and it sort of opened that genre. And I went into certain ones, and, and exactly. And I like, um, I've been listening but, to Appalachian music for fifty plus years. Yeah, you. Well, yeah. you're old. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I was saying something, but I'm really being nice today. <laughs> yeah. I love you, Jeff. Oh, well, we love you too. You know, um, yeah. This it's, is. It's... Go ahead. Never mind. You I sure? would say that this was this is a move uh, album that yes, I would need for sure. I mean, that's a lullaby album. 
in so many ways, like you rock your babies to sleep to this music, even when it gets a little powerful. Like, it's just, she's so, uh, yeah, like, I go, I want to learn to play the banjo now, you know? Um, yeah, that could be fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> you come make me dinner, I'll play a banjo for you, honey. But um, I really enjoyed it. I think, Mark, you gave us an album that Mark... Jeff and I wouldn't have listened to otherwise. Oh, no, I listened to it uh, before Mark. I talked to Mark. Yeah, she, uh, he, he, he said to me, he goes, well, I, I heard this record, and I said he, he didn't know, and I go, and I told him, I said it's, it's, I knew what record it was, and then he was wanting to talk about. It. I knew what he was talking. About. Oh, no, I'm gonna I have said, step on my game. I called him. Yeah, <laughs> I said I'm planning on reviewing it. Let's do it Saturday, and then he, he didn't make the show. So yep. I, he goes. Is it in your album of the year? I go, absolutely. So we'll do a show. Well, it was great. No, I really no, enjoyed I, it. I heard this on a video and then I called him. I said, my God, she's blowing my mind. Who is this yeah. girl? So. I remember the time there used to be an open door. Now what I say what you want to hear anymore I'm just the wrong kind of ride well so um, on that note uh, I'd like to thank my panelists for uh, a great album listen challenge tonight uh, as we get closer to year's end we're going to have more of these our next one up will be <laughs> Stop it. Will not be you. like this. The album is by the band King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. And yeah, the stop. album Petro Dragonic Apocalypse. Stop. I yeah. gotta have some people listen to this. I'm telling you, it's one of the best metal records in a very, very, very long time. No. And totally progressive. With okay. it. Cool. All right. I wouldn't steer you wrong. <laughs> yeah, you you have before, so <laughs> <laughs> don't forget no! our new show. Don't forget our new show, uh, albums from the Leaf, all Canadian albums, and we have the panelists' favorite show, decade by decade, right now. Catalog review shows. We've done the Tragically Hip and Led Zeppelin, and next up is In Excess on October twenty second. So stay tuned for that. Check out and our I, videos and articles at. I uh, want to add one thing in. I'll be putting video videos up very soon that Mark will. I've started a new uh, thing called Beyond po Beyond the Poor. I have I have personally designed drinks that that match certain bands or songs. Drinks, drinks, yep. baby. Okay, you gotta I have a couple that. drinks. Drinks. You gotta, yep. you gotta have a couple drinks before you can listen to rock and roll. That's how it yes, is. Those will. We'll get those up soon once uh, once we get it all started and set up. I'll be looking for those at www.beyondyourradio.com. Happy listening.